Hey Access members, Anthony Tran here, and I just want to show you this really quick tutorial of how you can use domain masking to kind of cover up some not so easy to remember web addresses. I'll explain in this video. So essentially here I am on this web page. It's for my membership login. And if you can see it right here in the domain, it's uh, this domain that's hd157.customerhub.net. Now that's kind of a mouthful to try to remember how to get back to this web address, right? So you want to make it easier for your audience to remember certain web addresses. So how do you do that? Essentially, I had domain masked that, that login with an address called marketingaccesspass.net. And as you can see right here, it's the exact same screen. If I could toggle over, you can't even tell the difference. And the web address is no longer this really uncomfortable looking web address. It's marketingaccesspass.net. Uh, and you're probably wondering, well, how do you do that? So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you go to GoDaddy or wherever you have your domain provider, uh, you're going to go ahead and log in. Okay, so once you're logged in, you're going to basically go to your domain manager. And I'm going to click on this plus button. And I'm going to find the domain that I want to use to mask that other one. So I'm trying to find marketingaccesspass.net. As you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And once you get inside here, you're going to see a menu that says forwarding. And you can click the manage button right here. And I have already set this up. So in order to do this, I will show you how this works. Uh, if you were to edit this or add a new one, it's going to ask you where do you want to, what web address do you want to get forward to? So this is the address that I want to basically mask and get forward to. So you would type that in right here. And the redirect type, you could choose between permanent or temporary. Now, in this case, I want to choose permanent because every time somebody um, clicks and types in marketingaccesspass.net, I want Google to know that this is the web address that I really want it to go to. So you can choose two settings. You can choose, you could forward only or you could forward with masking. Now, what that means by forward only is if I just typed in marketingaccesspass.net, it would forward me to this web address, but it wouldn't cover it up. It went to mask over it. Now, when I do forward with masking, it will actually send it to this web address and it will also cover it up with marketingaccesspass.net like I showed you before. And then that's pretty much essentially all you have to do. Once you do that, you click save, you give it a few minutes, and then you're able to, instead of having this domain, whenever somebody sends over to a domain of your choice, it will cover it up, mask it, and it'll send it to the right, right web address. So there's so many different ways you could use this tool. And essentially, it's really up to you how you could use it. But I wanted to show you that there's definitely a capability and it's not hard to set it all up. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.